Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jacka, and today I have a video showing you how to get the achievement for Skullgirls, which is the kitchen sink. This achievement can take a while. It really, realistically, the only way to actually get it is to go for it or play a ridiculous amount of Peacock and use a quarter circle back too many times, probably. Alright, so what you want to do for this achievement is go into versus mode, not training, versus. Now go to local only. Now set one controller to the left, which will be you, play one, and then one to the right. As I'm playing on computer, I'm setting my keyboard to the right and my fight stick to the left. Now what you want to do is pick a three team size for yourself, or play one. Make sure Peacock is your first character. Any assist will do. Your two other characters don't matter. Now pick a one team size for the enemy so they can take more hits. Alright, so when you get into the game, to input the uh to input her throw, which you need to do for this achievement, it's a quarter circle back and then just any punch. So there's three different tiers of this. There's level one, which is quarter circle back tap punch. So it'll drop an item quickly. And there's another one which is tier two which we have to hold it until the first exclamation mark appears and then there's a third one which you have to do it you have to do the same thing but hold it until the second exclamation mark appears then you release so with this achievement you're going to have to do this seven times for the allied attacks you're going to have to do it six times for the heavy attacks, there's six alternatives, and then for the medium attacks there's more. I don't know the exact number, but it'd be easier to get the light and the, well, tier one and tier three done first before the medium. So, a quick tip for the la the sixth, or well, the most difficult to get for the um, T3. So what you have to do is do Peacock's Taunt. And to do this is a light kick, high kick, medium punch, medium punch, up. Well, when she raises her hat and the bird appears, that means your taunt's been successful. And then, on your next on your next throw, it will 100% be the hardest to get, which is this one. I forgot the name of it, though. But something will drop and then a bunch of spiked balls will appear. And then that's one you don't have to do. That took me about... 20 minutes of trial and error, and I never got it. Just constantly doing this move in versus mode, and I could never get it until I looked up how to get it, if there's like a way, and then all that was was the emote. I mean the taunt. But yeah, that's a wrap, as the game says. If you guys want to see more of this in the future, please let me know. I've I just picked up Skullgirls again because I'm waiting for Street Fighter V to download because my net's horrible and I thought, hey, I might as well learn this game. It's pretty fun, but yeah, see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.